we go. Is that cam on? Hello all and welcome back to... Oh god, I hurt so much. But otherwise, hey all, how are you doing? Um, I kept... Sorry that I kept delaying the stream, like, initially it was I need to go get Haley. And then I got Haley, and then I sat down... And it's like, okay, I'll get ready to start the stream. And then was watching the folks who I posted about in the Discord do their Twitch Rivals thing. And then was just like, my leg is still asleep from several hours ago. That seems weird. And now my back is just doing something awful. So apparently I've just done horrible things to my body and it's unhappy with me now. Also, why do you know that... 15 grams of thermite is a lot. I mean, besides the fact that, like, 15 grams of thermite is more than enough to, like, burn through frickin' anything. Um, I have seen the new Overwatch. Well, I saw his lore video. I haven't actually seen any of his, like, gameplay. Because I generally don't check out, um, the PTR. I know Gothic played on it a little bit and had generally positive things to say. Uh, this is not a puzzle-based platformer. This is a... The genre is auto-battlers, but seeing as all of them are similar, just with varying degrees of polish, the best way of describing it is it's sort of like a deck-building or drafting game where you can throw the pieces back if you've decided that's no longer what you're going for to recoup some of the resources you spent on them. Um... Honestly, the best way to figure it out is probably by, like, watching a game or two. Um, this is the, the the Valve version of the game that League also has out called Teamfight Tactics that... Frankly, I think Teamfight Tactics is a less good version of it. Uh... I mean, you can play it on mobile, so I guess theoretically no buttons? I don't know. Like, there's, there's a bunch of hotkeys, but you can do everything just with mouse mouse clicks. Um, like, part of the reason why I keep playing this one on stream is because, unlike the League version, this is available on Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, Android device, and iOS. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Teamfight one is only available on Windows and maybe Mac? I'm watching a video of secure data destruction and discovered he couldn't fit 15 grams of thermite inside an H inside a hard drive. Or he could fit 15 grams of thermite. I feel like you wouldn't need to put them inside. You just put 15 grams of thermite on top, ignite it, and then walk away. Um I know that there's a character named Brom in League. All of my experience with League, though, is from eight years ago? Also, Alphcad, are we getting you in here, or should I just start up this game? Um, so all of my experience with League is, at best, massively out of date. Um, if the Brum you're thinking of is a big, like, like, big burly guy with a big shield, then yes, he's in League, and he's in, um... Uh, he's also in Teamfight Tactics, and he's annoyingly, like, not... He's not good in Teamfight Tactics, but his, like, the or, or the race that he belongs to is useful, and the fact that his... He's, like, one of only two people with his class. Okay, I'm sorry I started so late, Alephcat. I didn't want to. I'll probably try and start at a more reasonable time tomorrow with maybe this? I don't actually have a plan for what I'm doing tomorrow. Because I, I think I had a plan today, but that sort of got like thrown up in the air by the whole going to pick up Haley thing. Okay, so each one of these characters has... Uh, uh, I'm going to grab one real quick before I can't decide. Let's take Manomancer. Each one of these individual characters has specific abilities um and they have these synergies so like dry ranger is heartless think undead and a hunter so the more of these you get so like when you get three hunters together on the board they get a special effect in that all hunters gain a 20 20 percent chance to attack uh to do two attacks instead of just one 
Um, the other thing that you're trying to do is to buy up multiple copies of the... Fuck you. Fine. Fine. The other thing you're trying to do is buy up multiple copies of the same unit. Uh, because if you manage to get three copies of the same unit, they will turn into a version of that unit that basically just has twice as much health. Uh, give me the butt seeker for now. Or twice as much health, twice as much damage, all that sort of stuff. Um, this is oh, this has been the thing that we a lot of us complained that the league version didn't have for a while was you couldn't check any of your unit's goddamn fucking stats. So you're like, I don't know what my characters do because this game actually does let you see that, as well as um, all of them have some sort of ability that they're usually trying to build up to. Bat Riders is janky and hard to explain because I don't completely understand what it does. Also, it's massive. And I just don't like reading it. Meanwhile, Butt Seekers, while relatively long, is actually super easy to explain in that he's got a lot of text on his passive. What it effectively means is he doesn't build up mana, he doesn't have an ult, he slowly bleeds to death, and whenever he uh, gets a kill, he... Oh, that's some jank. Um... Uh... Wow. These are all bad for me. Um, whenever he gets a kill, he refreshes his health, but the less health he has, the faster he attacks. He's very strange, but honestly pretty solid. Um, so ideally, because of that item that I picked up in the first round, this thing called the Age of Chivalry, I'm trying to theoretically run the Knight Strategy, which means that's why I picked up Batrider, even though he's not a terribly good unit. Uh, because ideally, I want to have as many knights out as possible, because they stack a defensive buff on other knights. Okay... I... no. What? These are all really good items. Give me the arcane boot, I guess. They're all really good items, but they're all also class-specific items. God damn it. Shit. Okay. Well, this is a lot of butts. Give me the Shadow Shaman, I guess? Oh, shit, right. So, I want to get the Shadow Shaman because the Shadow Shaman means that these these two... There we go. These two idiots are both trolls, which means they get an attack speed increase and also give uh, my Butt Seeker a slightly smaller, slightly smaller uh, attack speed increase. Actually, it's pretty significantly smaller, but still. And yeah, so the reason why this game has squares is because the original mod that this game was based on uh, was a mod for Dota 2 called Auto Chess. So they had this implication of it being a chessboard. And now it's mostly just... Oh, fucking finally. Okay, so now that I've got three of them, these will combine into a level 2 uh, Batrider, who basically has twice the stats. Uh, okay, bye you. So, the other thing that's happening is every round I gain one experience. So every time you level, we level ourselves up, we get another slot so we can put out another unit. Uh, but I'm trying to not spend too much money because every 10 gold you have uh, helps you accrue interest. Troll Press Savage does seem pretty solid. But I was trying to go Knights, and I just have not seen any more Knights. Because units also have a, a rarity level. So, like, these boys all cost one and are uh, tier one units. Then Pudge over here is uh, tier two, so he costs two gold instead. And in fact, I think he's the only tier two I have. Um, I'm trying not to have favorites in this game, just because... That's a trick that I fell... Or, oh, there we go. Finally, another knight. That's a trick that I fell into with um, Teamfight Tactics. Uh, where if you have a favorite unit, you tend to try and build around them, and then you have the deeply aggravating result of... 
a team that doesn't really work because you've tried to build around like one one character. But if I had to pick, it's probably Dragon Knight just because I like his dumb passive. Okay, so that shield is an indicator that, hey, these are knights and they're standing next to each other, so they're getting double buffed, basically, for taking less damage. Uh, I might not win here, because they've got... So this person has got a whole bunch of druids, and that's not that bad on paper. The problem is that the druid synergy is really odd. Um, who is this? This is Carnicles? Carnicles. So the druid synergy is... At the beginning of combat, your lowest star druid unit is upgraded a level. So one of his, even though he's only got like these four units and two of them are one star druids, as soon as combat starts, one of these two is going to turn into a two star, basically doubling its power, which makes them annoyingly threatening, honestly. Now then, what am I doing? I am apparently not getting any knights. That's what I'm doing. Okay, Abaddon's a knight. That works. That works. Okay, I can buy a Luna. Okay. Okay. So, once combat starts, your interest rate is locked in, so I don't have to worry too much about going below 10 Ready gold. To answer the call. Um. Okay. So, once this fight ends, I'll be able to throw out an extra unit, which means I'll probably put out Abaddon. Actually, you know what? Give me this puck. Because I don't anticipate giving a flying fuck about my... Uh, we can probably keep going with the troll synergy, and Bloodseeker's probably doing a bunch of our damage. Yeah, yeah, Bloodseeker's doing a bunch of our damage. Um, but in the future, what I'd like to do is put this puck out and make our damage line probably mage-based. Oh, hell yes. They will fear me. Um, because Puck is a dragon, which means that if you have two dragons of the three that are in the game, um, they get to use a special passive that they can't use any other way. So for, for Puck, it's just an ability that makes him randomly get to dodge attacks. The thing is that the sixth knight, because we've only got three of the six of them right now, the sixth knight is also a dragon, because he's he's one of a select number of characters like Puck here who have three... who has, like, two races and then one class. So, he is a human dragon knight. So, with one other dragon out there, he gets to activate his special passive, which is just, instead of being a not-great human knight fighter, he just turns into a dragon from the beginning of the fight and stays that way. Makes him significantly more useful than he is to start with. Ah, Viper, also the other dragon. Mm, he's less great. Like, he's fine. I, From the little I played of Dota, he's super fun. Not that great here, because he's a dragon assassin, and... I don't love assassins as a build. Like, they're okay, but the whole thing with assassins is just that... So, I've got sort of a line built up here, where I've got a front line, and then I've got Shadow Shaman in the back line. The problem with assassins, like my Buttseeker here, is that through one method or another, they get themselves behind your opponent. Sometimes by running in a really stupid circle, sometimes by jumping straight to the back row. But to get the best effect out of assassins, you need to stack a whole bunch of assassins, which means you effectively are not having any sort of front line yourself. You just have a bunch of units that fling themselves to the back row. Which, it's not bad, but it's not good either. Um, I'm gonna guess that what's scarier than a dragon is a dunt. These are all awful. Like, none of these are for me. Also, every five rounds, so like, one, two, and rounds one, two, and three are against creeps, then... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are against other players. And then, starting at ten, every five, uh, you have another creep round. Where, whether we win or lose, we'll get some amount of items that we can stick onto our units. Uh, honestly, I'm 
goodness say, I don't think I have anything that's scarier than a dragon to me besides maybe a dunt. And that that's the only thing I can think of. I don't know, maybe a centipede just because I fucking hate them? Can you hear that? Oh, damn it. Okay. Um... Okay, so big time, I'm gonna take this big time contract because it's a really dumb item um, that can be super useful in the right hands. Because the thing with this big time contract is that it gives a unit uh, a, an extra synergy. It gives them, I don't have any, uh, bloodbound synergy. Which, there's only two bloodbound uh, units in the game, and they're both kind of bad. But their synergy we'll is an attempt to try and make them better. When, if you have both Bloodbound people out, if one of them dies, the one that isn't out, or the one that didn't die, gets, I think, a hundred percent higher attack? Ooh, I lost this one bad. Because they're going warriors with an assassin back row. Okay, that's... Why are you doing this now? You've had all day to mow, and now you're doing it? Eh. Uh, I feel like I don't have terribly much to fear from a mind reader besides just... Actually, no, I don't think I have anything really to fear from a mind reader now that I think about it. Um... I feel like I'm behind a full level from a bunch of folks here, but I think I can keep going. Oh, shit, you're a hunter now? Holy, wait. Oh, he's not a warrior anymore. Okay, that's new. Yeah, but that requires that I actually remember my own credit card information. I haven't used my credit card willingly in... years? And I lose my debit card often enough that, like, knowing that card number does not help you, because it will be lost within days. And because I just don't look at it that much. It's one of those things where if I had a good memory, way more concerning. My memory is shit, though. I don't remember anything. Okay, so this guy used to be a warrior, not a hunter. That's an interesting change. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it means he'll be better at, like dealing damage just because he'll be able to get the hunter buff oh and he, the wolves he summons when he ults will also get the hunter buff oh okay that might actually be fucking awesome okay uh, well this will give me the the human synergy but the human synergy is kind of eh because all it is is just that they have a 20% chance to silence a uh, target, which means they can't cast their ultimate, which is not... bad? Uh, I might want this Crystal Maiden. I'll buy her ahead of time just in case. I'm also going to buy a fucking level up real quick. What do you mean, what does interest do? I... Like, interest is just gold. So it helps you recover your economy if you've uh, done something stupid like I just did buying a level up out of fucking nowhere. Uh, actually, do we want... No, Puck's kind of awful without the mage buff. Or without the dragon buff. God, what am I doing here? I need at least one more knight to really get any... <gasps> or Keeper of the Light. That works too. That fucking works too. Um, but yeah, like... The, the main point of interest is just, like, to to help you, or to not help you, to strengthen your economy as the game keeps going. Okay, Crystal Maiden, get the fuck out of there. We gotta keep her the light to... <gasps> Wait a second. Shit, 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 shit. Gotta do this fast. Faster. Faster. Fuck. Damn it. I... Damn it. Why didn't I... I was staring at that fucking razor and didn't buy him. Oh, hey, Doom, you badass motherfucker. Maybe I'll unite, though. Okay. Damn it. 
damn it! Oh, how am I so stupid? Ah, uh, well, Razor did get like his level lowered, so this is not that threatening. Okay, I think we can. I think I should ditch my Bloodseeker now, because he's probably still doing amazing damage. Hey, Razor. Um, but we don't need his human synergy anymore to keep going. Um, need the Omni Knight, because that'll get us to level 2 on our stuff. Um, sell the Crystal Maiden, because I don't need a Crystal Maiden. So now I'm trying to back all of these units into this corner here. Um, because I'm trying to sort of protect Keeper the Light, because he does fuck awful damage. Like, he's stone useless for just normal damage, but his ultimate just destroys, so if we can keep him alive, then we're fine. Also, I haven't checked to see if anyone else is trying to be on knights. Yup, Thorson's trying to be on knights, that's why I can't fucking find any. Yup, because they're on four knights as well. Damn it. Okay. Do I have someone I can put Mask of Madness on? Uh, yes! Yes, I fucking do! Yes, because Luna doesn't have an ability. Luna has a passive. Okay, so Mask of Madness is a super janky item. Because it sounds great when you hear it first, but then you start to think about the implications. Because it's... 20% of the damage done turns into lifesteal. Increases attack speed by 60. But the hero is silenced, which means that any hero who gives at all any amount of care about using their ultimates cannot equip it because it will be stone useless for them. My turn. But, but for Luna, she doesn't have an ult. She just has a passive, which makes it extra awesome for her because her passive just makes her wet, her attacks bounce, so she'll get even more healing out of it. Night elf cat, sleep well, friend. Sorry I started so late for you. Mother Pikachu just kicked my ass. At least it was a close fight this time. Ugh. God, I can't believe I lost so much money already. Oh, right. Tidehunter came down in cost. I forgot about that. Okay. So I don't need to get Chaos Knight out just yet. And I need to try and focus on making money. Because... I need to level up a whole bunch of my units. Because I need one more Lena to level her up. I need another Omni Knight to level her up. Uh. Okay, so, Naldo, I know you're joking, but that's actually part of a lot of my issues with the League version of this game, is that once every six or so rounds, you do this bizarre thing where you split off into a very poorly controlled... Um, uh, like, carousel game, where there's a whole bunch of units with no descriptions, you just have to guess what they are based off of their models and the item that you can see on them, and you have to just sort of guess and figure out, okay, that's the one I want, because I want that item, or I want that, that specific hero, or whatever. Um, oh, hey, Puck, that's not bad. Ooh, ooh, Ogre Magi. Okay, I can actually make use of the Ogre Magi. Um, that'll put me... That'll put me at three mages. Oh, this is the one issue, is that I can never remember how much it's going to cost me to level up. Okay, so... I'm at... Tw uh, it's going to cost 24 experience, which divided by four is six times 5 for amount of gold is 30 gold minus minus 5 so I can do it for 25 gold I can level up right now um fuck it I kind of need to we'll put the ogre magi out the the only reason I want this ogre magi is because one he's a mage which means it'll go up and have the mage buff um and he's Bloodbound, which means that the Bloodbound I put on, or the, the contract that I put on the Keeper will actually come into play. Um, uh, I 
need both of these. So, I like this game better because everything is explained better in this. So, like, the shop. You can mouse over a character and see, like, what their combinations do. Uh, you can click on the question mark and get, like, a full explanation Let's of their of abilities and such and their stats. Um, you can also tell who the fuck they are! Meanwhile, the League version, instead of this, the shop is down here, so it covers your bench when you're pulling it up. And they don't show you the model, they show you the, like, dark, gritty picture for the hero that they did when the hero came out. Which means that, like, everyone who's a ninja looks exactly the same. So you have to try and remember based on, like, okay, this one's the two-cost ninja. I need that one. Um, also, because while the carousel thing that the lead, ga lead game does is really interesting, it controls, like, absolute butt. And you can't tell what the hell you're trying to buy up. I don't think I'm going to use this razor. So we'll buy up this Luna because it'll get us closer to a two-star one. So this is the annoying thing. Now that I've got a two-star Luna, the only way to upgrade her is to make two more two-star ones. Um, but it means that they've, they've actually brought in a pretty significant buff for level threes to encourage players to go for them more. So they'll be quite strong if we can get that. And these ones are particularly annoying because they have a fake version, or a better version, of the Bloodbound thing. So when I kill one of them, the other one gets much harder to kill. And hits much harder. If I remember correctly, their names are Potato and Tomato, because reasons. Why are you giving me good stuff now? Like, this would be amazing if I was going Primordials. This would be amazing if I was going Demons and Demon Hunters. But I'm not doing either, so give me Skull Basher. Ugh. The time for celebration will come. Um... Who do I want to give... Your attack speed's pretty high. I'll give it to the Bat Rider. Um, part of it is that the 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 original game that spawned all these other auto battlers was built in Dota Let's win or in Dota game. Two. So after the mod team proved that, like, hey, this is just a thing you can do in the engine, why not just do it better? Because part of the issue with the original mod was that, like, it was tied to Dota's courier system. So you had this stupid courier sitting out on the field that had this aggravating sphere of influence you had to operate around, where you'd go like, is he close enough to drop an item? Shit, not quite. So this one, and to some extent TFT, are made, this one slightly less so, uh, in the same engine because they can just go, well, we have these characters and we already sort of know how to balance these things because a mod team already did a bunch of it. So we'll just bring them in and give them mostly the same abilities and balance them better and get rid of all of the faff that made the normal one or the original mod kind of annoying. Meanwhile, and, and build it in the same engine so we can import the models that we already have and save a whole bunch of extra work, which is how this game was... Tra uh, d Valve trademarked the name for this game bef uh, two weeks before announcing it announced it, and then released it uh, two weeks after that. No, the mod team who made Dota Auto Chess, uh, whose name I'm trying to remember because it's something deeply confusing and Chinese, um, Drodo. Drodo made it. They are also making their own uh, standalone auto battler. The issue for them is that they're a Chinese company, are being backed by... Oh god, they're being backed by two different other Chinese companies with a third one that isn't showing up on their game that's doing most of the production for them. Um... Oh, they're being backed by Dragon's Nest, who has no American presence at all, uh, and Imba Entertainment, which is uh, actually an esports company, which is why that game, despite not actually having an official PC release yet. It's out on mobile, though. Um, has an upcoming million-dollar esports tournament somehow. Uh, yeah. Um, 
and then a third company that's doing the actual development. Um, in fact, Drodo was asked if they wanted to work on the Dota, v or like the Valve version of it, and said no. Uh, which, eh, fair. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. Um, especially because you still can't make an account for them unless you give them a phone number. Like, they're currently running, uh, depending on where you're looking, either an alpha or beta test on the Epic Launcher, but... It's hard to find, and like I said, you can't make an account to sign in unless you give them a phone number, not an email. Uh, I'm totally going to lose this, which is why I'm not paying a ton of attention right now. And seeing if I can, I don't know, make, a, make some more useful units, which is probably not going to happen, but whatever. Okay, that might help. I need one more Luna. Or an Abaddon, that works too. But yeah, the that one is a whole can of worms. It's a whole big can of worms. With many, 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 many issues. Um, and then Teamfight has the other issue of instead of building a new game, they seem to just actually be enforcing auto battler rules on the league engine so like there's still things like the what is it, what is it called um hang on, let me go watch slender guy because he's not knocked out yet so like the ping system that they have in uh league still goes on there and you can't turn it off i do not play no dota 2 i played like a tiny bit of dota 2 um Oh, God, yeah. I played a little bit of Dota 2 in 2013? Maybe 12. Uh, I think it was 2013. Because it was after I stopped playing as much Planetside 2, and it was when a co-worker at my last sales job wanted, to, wanted people to play with. Okay, so what are you running here? So you're running a bunch of Warlock... Warlock's uh, special is that whenever a Warlock ults, they bind themselves with another unit and start doing this thing where they... This. Where they uh, they start doing sort of a lifesteal thing. He's got two blood Bloodbounds, which is why he's got Warlock, the other Bloodbound, and the Ogre Magi. He's got one Demon. Demons are a little bit weird because unlike other synergies, Demons only want you to have one. They don't want other Demons because it shuts off their synergy. And functionally, what this do what the demon synergy does is just the one demon you have gets a 50% attack or 50% damage boost across the board, but as soon as you get a second demon, it stops working. Then he's running... Okay, so Savage for attack damage. But he's only got... He's only got three out, so he's only on level... The level one upgrade. These black pips mean that he's got them on his... Uh, still on his board. Probably because he doesn't have enough space to put them out. So let's see. Alchemist is here for... Th I would probably suggest swapping out the Alchemist for another beast, but I tend to over overstack on Savage when I can. Oh, and his Enchantress is level 2, so when... Oh, both of his druids are level 2, so he gets a free level 3 at the beginning of each combat. God, if only druids were better. Like, all of the druids are fine early game, but they start to struggle towards the later game, even once you get one of them to basically be a free level 3. Though, that Venomancer's doing some fucking work for you, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a lot of work for you. What item do you not have equipped? Oh, you don't have the Black King's Bar equipped. Ooh, that would be helpful. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out who he's probably trying to, like, swap in and out. Because... Well, I can see why he doesn't want to swap Tusk in, just because Tusk it has so much less health than any of 
the people who you could probably swap Tusk with. Well, except maybe Necrophos. Wait, did he sell Tusk just now? Yeah, I think he just... Oh, yeah, he's selling off the Tusks. Okay. I mean, he could still put out Sand King, but Sand King's... Sand King is squishy. Ooh, this one's going a little bit less well for him because... Oh, looks like that Dragon Knight leveled up. Because Dragon Knight's whole thing, too, is that as he levels up, he also turns into different versions of his dragon form. He, like, starts out at... What is it? Green? Yeah, he starts out at green that's just, like, a minor buff on top of the being a dragon. Um, eh, what is it? Attack steal, 30 poison damage per second for 5 seconds. Then red dragon that does the poison, but also has basically, like, a sort of cleave on his normal attacks. And then the blue dragon, which... What is it? Right, it's a cleave that also slows attack speed and movement, though... Movement doesn't matter a ton, but the attack speed hurts. The attack speed really hurts. What? Oh, god damn it. Slender Guy's being attacked by the same person twice in a row? That's some bullshit. Come on, Alchemist, fire! Fire your damn ultimate, you asshole! You fucker! He's just sitting there, not using it. Like, honestly, I think Slender Guy would have had this in. Okay, I think Slender Guy might have this in the bag, but, like. Had he been a... No, what the fuck. Had his damn alchemist set off his ability, it would have been so good. I... So, Naldo, I did a obsessive, obsessive article analyzing the differences between this and the League version. And one of the things that I drew a, like, big, like, flashing red arrow about was like, look, League character designs are... A thing but for some reason for some reason all of the like crazy weird character designs that they did that the league has they didn't decide to use for their models so you, half the time you're going okay I'm trying to run gunslingers so how the hell do I determine which gunslinger I'm looking at well um, you don't just hope that you just buy someone who looks like they're carrying a gun and you'll hopefully be fine. Or, okay, which which of anything am I looking at? I'm just like, but you have such bizarre characters. And why do none of them match? Also, why is a guy who's just a person who's on fire a demon in your game for some reason? That one was still the weirdest one to me, that they've just got a guy who's... A, it's just a guy who's perpetually burning, who's actually really useful in teams for some reason is a demon and I don't understand why Ugh. like I'll, I'll continue to say that I when I'm not streaming TFT is still the one that for some reason I go play but that's mostly because they have like, they don't do dailies like this. They're like, yeah, I can go do my dailies. Like, that's a thing I can do. I don't always super want to, but I can. With Leagues 1, they just have, like, weeklies, and they've got, like, 15 weeklies that are just like, nah, just slam the fuck through these in, like, one marathon session. And for some reason, way more okay with that. Don't know why. Um, some demons are, but all the demons that they put in teamfight besides brand are all like very obviously demons because there's the the like spider lady there's the strange purple skinned woman with giant evil tails there's uh the also vaguely purple skinned guy with a big sword whose name i don't remember there's at least one demon i'm forgetting there's at least one more i'm forgetting because it's brand, and they've got a thing for six demons. Shit, what's the other one? Also, this is a weirdly interesting pool. Give me this razor, and then we'll lock it in. Oh, right, one of them's Swain, who's just a totally normal guy, but he also then turns into some sort of blood monster, so... Eh. I don't 
remember his lore, but I'm pretty sure he's just like an asshole who got set on fire and then refused to die after getting set on fire. Then again, I recently looked into the lore for for this thing, for Venomancer and Dota, and his lore is real dumb. Because his lore is he's a shitty alchemist who went to a... Uh, er, alchemist or herbalist who was not ready for this thing, but decided that he was totally ready to go venture into a jungle where everything is poisonous and toxic and awful. He immediately got bitten or stung or something, so his response was to desperately try to flail about and make an antidote. To, to do so, he murdered some sort of toxic lizard, uh, combined its toxin with that of an armored orchid and used the orchid to inject himself, and then fell asleep and woke up 17 years later looking like that. He... It's implied that he was human, or something like a human. So, whatever he was doing, he's very bad at being an alchemist. Uh, here, yes, I guess you can have some armor. And that the reason why he's all lizardy is because of the lizard that he used to make the antidote. I don't... Dota lore makes no fucking sense either. Um, okay, I'm gonna buy the Warlock just so I can get the Warlock Synergy... Which, that's still weird that his name is Warlock, and he is a Warlock, but whatever. I don't think I care about any of these other units, though. Uh, part of his lore is that his brain also was, like, destroyed by the antidote that he made. So, I don't think he cares. I don't think he cares at all. Why the fuck would you buff the... My warlock tried to buff a plague ward. I... Okay. Okay. Okay, early bloodbound contract's actually pretty sweet. And then, okay, you get out front now. Actually, you get that, and you get that. Oh my fucking hell yes. Okay, apparently I'm on fucking warlocks. Apparently, I'm on Warlocks, damn it. I will lead your armies to glory. Yeah, so now, so now my Venomancer is Bloodbound, so when this Warlock ends up dying horribly, uh, my, my Venomancer will get swole. I love... Okay, this makes me so happy. So, Drow Ranger's passive doesn't do anything unless the uh, the person who she's teamed up with is standing next to her. So because she spent half that fight standing away from her own teammate, I was totally fine there. Because she her passive increases other units' um, attack speed. Okay. Why am I on Warlocks? Why am I always on Warlocks? Ugh. Ugh. Ooh. Speaking of Warlocks. Um, you get out here. Ugh. Oh, I super agree. I love the all-over-the-place all design that Lee goes for. The problem is when they don't use that to their advantage. It's like, why, why did you go with all the boring things? Oh, I'm just talking specifically about teamfight. Because, like, in League, they have to look very distinct, and that's why they look distinct. So that they all look very, very different, so you can tell who the hell you're trying to use, or who the hell your opponent has at moment's notice. I'm gonna die here, damn it. It's just so weird that when they make a spin-off game in Teamfight, they're just like, yeah, we just grabbed the most boring people we can find. Also, we... Artif because we built this all in the existing League system, everyone looks like they're swinging their weapons through fucking molasses. So, like, one of them is just, like, his attack animation is just...
Like, it just takes for fucking ever. Um, you know what? I'm clearly not getting this razor, too. And then you've just got some where it's like, what is it? Uh, Vane, who's got these, like, what is it? She's got, like, double... It's either hand crossbows or, like, wrist crossbows. But because her fucking default attack speed is so low, she just sort of, like, stands there like this for a good few seconds and then just goes, BANG! And then fires off a bolt and then just stands, just stands there again. Like, she's really good as soon as you can put... That's the other issue with team fight is that it's not based around building a good team. It's built, built around making a team carry like a level three unit as fast as you can who can carry your whole team and then fuck the rest of it doesn't matter because you've got a level three with all of your weird crazy items stacked on them so now they'll just carry the rest of your team which admittedly was a problem for the original mod but isn't a problem for this because they went that's that's his dumb thing let's not do that Okay, well, now we have yet more goddamn Warlock Synergy for no immediately apparent reason, but whatever. Oliver. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just talking now and I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing. And I started so late that I just feel like... Bleh. It's like all the folks who normally want to be playing... Underlords are not around because I started. God, I started like three hours late. Uh. Um, they've they've tried to update a whole bunch of their character designs, to my understanding. But yeah, that's the thing is that like, League has updated some of their character designs and retconned their story out the fucking wazoo. Uh, but. But, uh, they haven't really updated their engine. Like, like, I will give Blizzard a lot of shit, but one thing that Blizzard is actually, like, pretty solid at doing is the fact that that's a different entrance. Um, if you go look at World of Warcraft and compare, even though they're still operating the game on the same engine, they spend a lot of time upgrading that engine uh, between expansions. To the degree that, like, I played Vanilla WoW. The people who are really excited about going back to Vanilla WoW have some major nostalgia goggles on for that. Oh shit, before I forget, level up. Because, like, it's not gonna be a pretty experience. Hell, I still remember the original Vanilla WoW manual, which had information in it that was not correct uh, after, like, six months of updates. Because for a while, there was this bizarre idea they had that um, hunters would be able to turn their pets into their mounts later in the game. To the degree that it's even called out specifically in... What is it? The... Okay, I guess give me the Ogre Magi. Ooh. Ooh, give me the Shadow Shaman too. I can use him for something. Um, like, in the, in the, the pre-Burning Crusade WoW manual, they had sort of like... It was a big manual. Just, just like... Big. Um, and they had like a whole section for each of the classes. Um, so... The reason is that uh, Dota 1 was also originally a mod, and Dota 2 has, to my understanding, the blessing of the original mod creators, but very few of them, I believe, uh, work on it now or or did. Like, they, they may have, but I'm relatively certain almost none of them work on it now. Um, cause Valve did not make Dota 1, which is part of why Dota 2 is so, so very centric on not calling any of these the, uh, Warcraft 3 characters that they're referencing. 
like Drow Ranger, who's 100% Sylvanas, but they're going with, hey, Drow is an open source term instead of Forsaken Blood Elf. As for why, like, League doesn't, I, they haven't... Riot has a bunch of internal issues that they haven't sorted out yet first. Well, that's because at this point, Valve makes almost all of their money off of a combination of... Well, they make a bunch of their money off of just... We run Steam and take a... Uh, I'm trying to remember how big their cut is because it's higher than the industry standard. Um, it's more than a 30% cut of all sales on Steam, uh, though it varies by different devs. Oh, it's more than 5%. Yeah, no, that's that's part of the whole selling point that Epic is going for, for getting people over to use Epic because they only take like a 20% cut. They take a an industry like, below industry standard, and it's still a, a not insignificant cut. But the thing is that a lot of Valve's money comes from people who make skins and make, uh, basically, they don't make anything anymore. They, they don't. They don't make the skins that get sold on Team Fortress 2 or on Dota 2. The community makes them, they have a very, very lenient approval process, and then they let the users sell them, and the users get less than 50% of the sales pr price on those items. Like, that's how Valve makes most of their money right now. There's nothing wrong with Haley's car. Haley herself is having, like, migraine issues. So I drove her into the train station today. Ooh, hey, Witch Doctor. Um, okay, I'll trade the interest lost. Interest lost. Wow, I can't speak today. Uh, Venomancer. Okay, I just spent way too much money. I spent way too much money. I mean, they, they are here. Our... Uh, Okay, so our public transport system in Denver is butts, in that it's stupidly expensive, but if you work downtown and your company can finagle getting you a pass, basically, then our public transport system is fucking great. Yeah, that's the issue, is that Steam 1 doesn't tell publicly what their cut is, but devs who have spoken about them are very vocal that, like, yeah, it's more than most people take for these sort of things. They also don't do a flat rate. It's a case-by-case -case basis for the games and what their publishers can uh, navigate. So indies get kind of fucked over, which is part of why Epic's whole thing is that, like, yes, indies get, like, this flat rate. And you know exact, and everyone gets this flat rate, so everyone knows ahead of time. And yeah, um, the free games on Epic right now are This War of Mine and Moonlighter, which I really wanted to like. <sighs> yeah, Valve doesn't talk at all. Like, when Valve talks, it's usually, hey, we found a way to make, um, uh, we found a way to make robots do a new thing. Basically, they're just doing Google on a slightly smaller scale. Um... Like, I appreciate this case where they put out a game, and they have the intention of making it a free-to-play game, and are definitely not focusing on the monetization first. They're focusing on, okay, how do we make game work good, then figure out how to monetize it second. Which, f frankly, you should probably be trying to do before you release the game, but uh, whatever. They're the proponents of early access, so whatever. Oh, they have stupid money. Uh, sort of Half-Life Free is kind of free in that 
the person who wrote the story for Half-Life 3 has posted it publicly as... Oh, God. I don't remember the name of it. The the head writer for ha that was originally assigned to Half-Life 2 Episode 3 has posted the full story that he wrote for it. Um, no one's saying there's a problem with the Epic model, Tomaso. I was discussing Steam's model. Yeah. It's... Look, Half-Life 3 is one never coming because the person... It's already been written, and the person who wrote it doesn't work for Valve anymore. Um, he didn't post it as Half-Life 3. He posted it as a thing on a fanfiction site and slightly changed all the names, and I don't remember what it's called. Um, and I'm gonna have to go look it up now. And I will probably try and throw it in the Discord because it's something very silly. But yeah, the, the head writer on Half-Life 3 has publicly posted the story that he wrote for it when he left Valve. I believe that it was called something stupid like Double Death 3. <laughs> Poor dead cat. But yeah, no, Damaso, I'm not having anything bad to say about Epic in this case. I'm just saying, like, that's part of the reason why I... Oh, finally! <gasps> it's a three-star! Yes? Okay. Um, like, I'm just... That's why I'm saying why there's kind of a difference between the fact that Epic is publicly posting their, uh... The, the cut that they're sharing and the cut that they're, uh... Or the cut that they're taking and the cut that uh, devs get and such like that. I, I feel like posting the a leaked Half-Life 3 story is, like, the one way to guarantee that Valve won't have you killed. Because that way, if they have you killed, then it's just proof that you knew the truth. That reminds me, one of my favorite magic artists that I looked into recently was doing work for Valve, and I don't know what the hell he's doing anymore, since... Valve doesn't really do art things anymore. I haven't checked in a while, though. I also can't remember which artist it was. Um. Oh, shit. Okay, I was about to be really afraid that I leveled up into a creep wave, but no, I didn't. Wow, these are all not useful units. Um... Give me that fucking lichen. So where are we at right now? Got like a little bit of savage, a little bit of, who's my, oh right, shadow fiend's a demon. Doi. Uh, some trolls and demons. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Actually, sorry lichen, I'm replacing you. I don't want any of these things. I'm trying to remember if there's any other savages that I actually want. Fuck you, Kunkka Boat! Also, I seem to have knocked what. Okay, so this is a really weird thing, and I can't figure out how to describe it. I feel like I knocked one of my toes out of position doing my yard work this morning. Like, it just doesn't feel like it's lining up properly anymore. And not even. not Maybe not even knocked, just like. I was crouching in the wrong position for too long, and the toe has been, like, slanted or something. It feels real weird. Uh, none of these are things I bought. Fuck. Yeah, is that the... I think this is it? Probably? I don't have time to actually read through all of it. I don't actually think that is... I don't think that's the one I'm specifically talking about, just because the one that I'm remembering was posted to a uh, fanfic website, and I think it was longer than that, but yeah. Hey, so how you doing, friend? Fear my giant warlock as he does fucking nothing! I should probably move that Bloodbound contract over to someone who isn't actually just a useless idiot. 
Oops, shit, that was wrong. Um. Then again, I guess my Venomancer is doing absolutely ridiculous damage. Do I care about a Disruptor? Not really. I just kind of want to level up all my idiots. Ooh. I, so the issue with Slark on Contract is that... He's more likely to die himself, but yeah. Uh, Post the whole thing to paste pin with original name and gender swap back in, resulting in coherent plausible plot line. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was one of those weird ones that I heard about as, I think, a checkpoint story. Which, hey, they're back this week, and I forgot to watch. Oops. Holy shit, it's Thursday. I just realized it's Thursday. Also, that my brain is somewhere else right now. What am I doing? Like, I'm winning consistently, but I don't know why. I think I need more Bloodbound Idiots. Oh, I, It's not that commanding. The next person behind me is only 16 points, or 16 health down. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, Zuo, I was actually thinking of killing the stream soon, just cause, like, I started real late, no one's around, and I'm... F I don't know, I feel weird today. Wow, that... That went way better than it should have. But yeah, I don't know, I just feel real strange today. Like, not bad, just, like, my brain is dumb. Like... Like, not a bad brain day, just, like, my brain is dumb. Yeah, that's that's all I can figure to say. Shut up, I'll be leveled up in a half second, you jackass. Uh, you. Apparently I'm just rolling some sort of idiot bloodbound strategy, because I got no other plans. <laughs> Just like, nope! We're rolling all the blood bound. Fuck it. Figure it out. And then look on in terror as my Venomancer gets swole. Yep. Kill him. Everyone else gets swole. Kill him. Everyone else gets swole again. Stop killing my Venomancer, you fuckers. Why is one of my Warlocks not swole? Feels wrong. Okay, there we go. He got swole again. This is very dumb. See, clearly, they need to be level threes. Uh, I think they lowered Venomancer. No, they didn't. He's just not attacking from as far as he could for some reason. I don't think anyone has ever proclaimed that Venomancer was deeply intelligent, so kind of tracks. Oh, hey, Dragon Knight. Wow, that was like nothing. Note to self, just spend all of my spare money on buying level ups, because apparently I'm just not getting shit. And that way I can put out another Warlock and make the rest of my team swole again. That was a series of voices. Oh... And, Tommaso, I wish you the best of luck getting all of your Prismarine. Yeah, I still don't actually know why I have the Lycan on my board. I think I might die now. Oh, Zuo, did you see the nerf to... Well, the... I'm gonna say nerf. The... The unbreakening of, uh... What's that boy's name? Arc Warden? Okay, so one, he's tier four now, not tier three. I also have yet to see one in two rounds, so that's, um, weird. Uh, so yeah, he's, he's tier four now. He also doesn't have mana anymore. Instead, he starts the match, pops out a copy, and then if that copy dies, 
pops out another one. So he has a fixed number of copies that can't make cop. I don't think his copies can make copies. Um, or if they do, it's cooldown based and it has a long cooldown. So I'm gonna say more fair. But he also technically got like a damage buff because now he's tier four instead of three. Hey, Tramer. Not much. Um, oh yeah, that's the other thing. They also made it so that Primal Synergy does something. Since they never actually told us what the hell Disarming did. So it just... Primordial Synergy is now like they actually do a thing. They, uh... It decreases attack speed. Also, it doesn't only affect melee fighters now. So, yay. Double yay. All the yays. Ugh. Yeah, the problem was that nowhere in the game did they explain how disarming worked, and there was no indicator for someone having been disarmed. Excuse me. Huh. It's like tiny hiccups. Oh. Eh. They still explain their bait their game better than uh, Riot explains team fight. Which is a low bar, but still. Tis a bar that exists. Also, damn it, this person is also on warlocks. You fucker, die! Shit, I should have taken Summoning Stone. Why didn't I take Summoning Stone? I have a Venomancer! Brain! What the hell? Why are we not speaking? I have a Venomancer that's carrying me. Why the fuck did I not buy, get the Summoning Stone when it was offered? I, yeah, I have this lichen that I'm apparently never putting in just because I'm stacking idiot. Uh, I'm stacking these idiots up front. Yeah, me neither, Damasu. Me neither. Yeah, I suppose I could... Uh, I'm just trying to think, like, yeah, I guess now that I'm thinking about calling the stream real early, I could probably, like, go watch... I think the new episode of Fire Force came out today. I think it did. I should check. Uh... Yeah, wait, what day of the week was July 4th? Because that was when the first episode... Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, so it did come out today, I think. Wait, shouldn't that mean there should be four? Damn it, I can count! Fuck, there are supposed to be four, and there's only three. Those fuckers. Hey, Haley. Hey, hi. Hmm? Hi. Hey. I just saw your feet. Oh, okay. Uh... I guess. Do a high chat. Do I want a tide hunter? No, no, I don't. Oh, I have no idea what the hell I actually want in this. Okay, apparently we're getting that level three, level two lichen. How the hell is someone in Oh, because they have eight health. Okay. Yes. Kill my idiot magi. Watch as my idiot backline grows. See, this is the worst part about Venomancer being tier one, is that now there's very little chance of me getting him up to a level three Venomancer. Um I poked people on stream, but yeah, I didn't actually poke anyone in the server about it, Damasu. So I have no immediate plans, so gonna work on it. Yeah, I know he's better than a one dead contract. Probably get rid of him. <gasps> Finally, a fucking level two Shadow Fiend. <laughs> I've been working on that shit for days. Um, 
And you get the Eye of Scotty. I mean, this is basically the late game. Wait, no. What is this? How is there a level 10 at round 27? What the fuck is going on here? So no, this is not how the late game should be This is how the late game should be going, but this is like... Well, for this round it's basically the late game, but it's effectively supposed to be the mid game. Wow, I don't even know what the hell happened to Lycan. I think he may have died horribly. <gasps> Wait, does this mean you idiots are bloodbound? No, you're just savages. Okay. Wait, shit. Sunder guy, when did you get knocked out? Oh, last game. God damn it, I'm sorry I can't read. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because, like, I don't want to not stream, but at the same time, like, I'm not... I'm not feeling the, like, crushing despair and hatred that I felt on um, Monday during the Smash Fight Club. It's just sort of like, I'm tired and one of my legs is somehow still asleep and the other one seems to be like tweaked and my back is like cringing, ready to like try and fucking murder me, but hasn't yet, so I don't fucking know. My, I just don't know. <laughs> That's awesome, Gamasu. Well, I mean, the pain, not so much, but the progressing to a cane is sweet. I'll say, hey, Odin son, it's... It's going. That's what I'm sticking with. It's going. Why is my Venomancer sitting in the back row doing fucking nothing? Um... Burr -burr. I quite seriously have no idea what the hell I'm trying to build towards anymore. That's not bad. It's not useful, but it's not bad. Still don't know how I'm not dead. Also, because everyone continues to draw because we keep winning on our own screens. That seems bad. Okay, very bad. Maybe I should move the... The defender over to Lycan. Maybe I should move the defender over to Lycan. Because maybe he'll stay alive longer? It's less health, maybe not. Oh shit, I'm actually gonna lose this one. Fuck! Oh, please don't tell me you have wicked intent. Okay, you don't. Whew. Oh, the garden's going very well. I've, for some reason, decided to th throw... Uh, the garden stuff into, uh, like, all of my, like, garden updates into Patreon rewards, um, as part of the... Oh my god, brain, come on, we can do this. Brain. Uh, the menagerie, god damn it, which is our thing for, um... Uh... Oh, it's the thing for our, like, $2 patrons. That's the word. God damn it, I could not brain. Sorry. Um, so I've thrown... I'm throwing all of the updates in there now. I think we might lose to the fucking dinos. That's a first in a while. Fucking dino buffs. Damn it. attack speed, I guess? It was a big warlock. Unfortunately, he wasn't really, like, doing anything. Yeah. So let's get you down here. Oh, hey! Finally a fucking Arc Warden. They do exist. Okay, I might buy that Lone Druid in the hopes of maybe getting a level 2 Lone Druid. Maybe. 
Mostly I just really like to somehow random into a fucking level 3 Venomancer, because that might actually solve all my problems. Okay. Yeah, I mean, now that Lycan is, like, slightly back, at least he's not dying immediately. Oh, right, shit, I want to buy the... Oh yeah, Arc Warden was hilarious, and I completely get why they went, Okay, so that was too good. Um. Yeah, it has a pass, but it's also a free pass that doesn't have any paid stuff in it. Because they're testing how to do their pay, like how to make money off of the game, so I'm kind of okay with that. Um. get sold by the ogre magi okay that was a weird series of choices i just made there and i can't really validate any of them but whatever I, I have a level 3 Warlock now, and I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. Also, th that might be a bad thing. Seems real weird. Nah, shit, I'm gonna lose here. Damn, Shadow Deed Fiend did some fucking work. Because I forgot that Medusa got massively buffed, so I didn't even think about putting her in. That's my excuse. Um... No, Slender Guy. It just means that you might end up with stuff that isn't available uh, afterwards. Uh -huh -huh. The same way that all beta passes work. Like, I'd be salty if it wasn't an open beta, but... Scotty. Oh, hell yes, that is on attack, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Oh, shit. She should be in back. Oops. Oops! God damn it. This is the person who keeps killing me. Fuck. Oh, because they've got assassins and my team refuses to turn the fuck around and look at the assassins. What? Yes, please kill the fucking juggernaut. Thank you. God damn it. Okay, yeah. That works great. Yeah, I just noticed that there was only one person left. Look, apparently I'm really not braining, okay? Damn it, they won on their screen. Fuck you. Okay, well, if I'm only up against one person, we should try and adjust for the fact that they're going to be using savages. Wait until I can lock in the interest, and then see if we can pull a Venomancer level 3 out of my butt. I don't think we're going to, but I'm going to try! Seriously! Okay. Fuck. One more Venomancer. Come on! Nope. Shit. I don't even know what the hell I was thinking there. God damn it. This may have been a mistake. This is probably a mistake. Venomancer. Fuck you! Where's a Venomancer? Okay, there's a Lycan. Get me closer to Lycan 3. That would actually be nice. I don't think we're gonna kill this dragon, but let's see. 
Maybe we'll get lucky. Holy shit, we killed the dragon. Also, my warlock is strong. Um. No, right. Refresher orb on lichen. Right. Where are you hiding all of my Venomancers? I need one. I need one goddamn Venomancer. Yeah. Eh, I'm okay with chat being silent, but at the same time... Like, that's, I don't want to say part of the reason why I'm like, ah, eh, maybe I should just call the stream. But it's, it's a non-zero thing. Cast your fucking spell, goddammit! Summon the damn bear! Summon the bear, you fucker! Come on! I know he has a doom thing, but still. It's just like, no, fuck you, I'm never summoning my bear, deal with it! <sighs> that motherfucker. Refused to summon his goddamn bear. Oop, wait, I won on that screen. I just need one fucking Venomancer, damn it. Or a Medusa, but that's, that's begging. That's, that's a bit more extreme than I actually think I'm going to be able to get. But still... One Medusa be beautiful and perfect. Do you like changing your build around at all? No, you're just like locked in. Okay. Oh shit, they're still level 9. God, I hope they don't notice. Maybe if they don't notice it. You made a spot, you fuckers! Why would you make a spot for Juggernaut? Why would you make a hole for him? God. Fucking damn it. Okay, at least we got the spirit bear this time. Okay. Well, that was dumb. Okay, the spirit bear might actually be carrying us at this point. Oh. Oh, hell yes. Okay, come on. Okay, I need one Lycan or one Venomancer. One Lycan, one Venomancer, please. Fucking hell. Give me something. Uh. Maybe that's it. How much did I sleep last night? Maybe that's it. Maybe I just didn't fucking sleep. Yeah, or, or one Medusa. Yeah. I mean, the Medusa's more expensive, so I'm less, like, hopeful for the- Ah, I only slept, like, five hours last night. That might be part of it. Ooh, we're not doing so well this time. Wait, maybe? Okay, okay. Yep, the Medusa's carrying us. Thank you, Medusa. Oh, how was close. I might not lose. Oh, they lost. Okay, yes. Yes. Hey, Shadow Fiend. I, I don't need your brand of bullshit here. Fuck. Fuck all of this. Fuck all of this. I know I should be saving up money, but whatever. Just fuck all of this. Maybe that'll be it. Maybe I'll just try and keep going until um, Chewie goes live. So that I at least have, like, someone to throw to. Oh, that's what they did. They pulled their forces back so my melee fighters will actually, like, advance a bit. So they have a chance to attack my back row. Uh, okay. Okay. It's not working, but they tried. Uh, 
but it does look at placement in matches, Slender Guy. There seems to be some sort of... It, it's not a real ranking system, because I don't think you can drop ranks, as far as I have seen. At least not until much later on. Um, and it just cares about where you placed. Like, even placing 7th seems to... Like, if you can consistently keep placing 7th, it seems like eventually you will... Uh, rank up. Oh my god, what the hell. I don't know, I kind of doubt that consistently placing last will give you any experience. Because from when I've played, if you manage to come in like the f uh, first or second, you'll usually jump up one or two ranks at once. Let's see if we can kill the trolls. I'm betting no, but let's see. God damn it, my spirit bear's trapped in the back row. It's just like, I can't move to the front row. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Okay. Bear carry has finally arrived. Unfortunately, we did not kill the trolls early enough. Fuck. Ugh. Ooh. A refresher orb. Hell yes. Um... You know, I probably should have figured out who the hell I was going to put this on before saying that, but I think I'm going to put it on him uh, so that he get. Nope! No, I'm not! No, I'm not! No, I'm not! I've got a lone druid, you idiot! Aha! Ugh! Butts. Butts, I say. Um, but the, the other thing is that the private matches that we've been running most of the time, basically whenever we have more than four people in a game, those also just don't count for any sort of ranked progression. No, damn it! why did you turn my Ogre Magi into a pig? I needed you to kill him. Thank you. I sound like an Irish... I don't know what how to pronounce that word. I also don't know if that's bad. It was just a thing I learned from my dad, of, like, not actually cursing, just making a series of angry noises. Why are you running an Arc Warden? Okay, did you lose? Yay! The game is over! I will never find out if I got a level 3... Uh... Uh, I will never get a level 3... Who's your thing it? Venomancer! Yeah, I made it up to Smuggler. Beautiful. Probably not up to level 4. Yeah. Ooh, wait, but I did finally finish this fucking quest that I've been working on forever. So I can refresh that one. Summon 50 units. Wow, that's fucking awful. It's only 400 experience. But I want to save the refresh. No, I can't save... Yeah, yeah, no, I should save the refresh. Um... I don't think Chewie's gone live, has he? No. Um, trying to decide if I want to do another game then or not. Uh, cause, like, I don't know how much longer TQ is going to be going. Kate's doing PUBG, which is not exactly a thing that I always like throw into. Surge has been going for fucking ever, so he's probably gonna stop. I think I'm literally watching him stop right now. Okay, that's another thing. Um. Her. Her. Gonna be honest, I don't really have anyone to throw to, which makes me a little sad. Um. But. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just. Not even in, like, a bad brain place. Just, a my brain is tired. Which I guess just means I'm tired. And I started this way later than I was supposed to, so I'm sorry about that. Um, so I think I'm just gonna call this here. Sorry that it was so short by our standards, usually. Um, to make up for it... Also, hang on, let me cut over to the end screen so I can actually like, talk. Um, to make up for it... Uh, I'm trying to get all of our... 
uh, our VOD backlog posted to YouTube. I think I'm only like three episodes behind now. Uh, and for everyone who's at the $5 or more tier on our Patreon, um, uh, you're right, Slender Guy, but I'm hoping to maybe do some more of this tomorrow. But this also might be a low-key version of why not everyone runs community days twice a week. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? God damn it. Oh, for everyone who's at the $5 or more tier of our Patreon, I'm have a whole bunch of things that are going to start getting posted over there. Um, like, all of our D&D recordings and pre- and post-shows of those will start going live. Um, the main thing is actually that I need to find a time when I'm not streaming to listen through them to write out show notes for them. Uh, but otherwise, those are all things that will start happening. Uh, I think that's about it. I'll be back tomorrow with something? I'll figure that part out uh, tomorrow. That's a problem for future me. Haha, -ha, there we go. I have some ideas. I don't know if they'll work, but I have some ideas. Um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah. Um, I mean, I guess the usual reminders on sign-offs. Thank you all for being here so very much. Um, just thank you in general. Uh, but especially thank you to Alephcat, Trimmer101, Stark Maximum, Damasu, Donovan Bane, and Dracus, our absolutely amazing uh, conductors who I could not do this without. So thank you all so very much, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Again, sorry I don't really have someone I want to throw to, but yeah. Bye folks, I'm going to not take a nap. I'm going to do something like take a nap, in that I should probably just go to bed. Night, folks.